Hey you guys, this is Irene and I am putting up a slew of videos today and I'm doing more editing than I want to do with my life. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and talk about Chelsea Clinton and just kind of, I'm going to tell you, these demons, they make demonic children. And so her parents are, you know, into some weird stuff and they back weird causes and they've produced a daughter that is into weird stuff and has some bizarre outlooks on life. But specifically, I want to deal with today the things that she's saying about um, abortion and uh, the, the twist that she puts on it. And it's almost scary the way she deliver, delivers her arguments. It's like pass the butter. And so this first one, she's going to describe how the ability to murder your child in utero allows women to work in the workforce and then adds money to the economy. So there's not just the value of the child, the financial value of the child's death to the abortionist who gets paid, to the abortion clinic that gets paid for the fetal tissue, um, and to Planned Parenthood. And, um, and, and the, prov the providers of, you know, the facilities for these services. But there's also economic benefit in the way of women who aren't having to take care of their children, you know, because they killed them, being able to um, be in the workforce at a time where they would be, ha you know, would have been taking care of a baby. So, yeah fascinating stuff. Go ahead and check it out. Whether you kind of fundamentally care about reproductive rights and access, right? Because again, these are not the same thing. Um, if you care about social justice or economic justice, um, agency, you, you have to care about this, right? It is not a disconnected fact to Justice T-shirt of 1973 that American women entering the labor force from 1970 to 2009 added three and a half trillion dollars to our economy, right? Like the net new entrance of women, that is not disconnected from the fact that Roe became the law of the land in January of 1973. So I think whatever it is that people say they care about, I think you can connect to this issue. Of course, I would hope that they would care about our equal rights and dignity to make our own choices. Um, but if that is not sufficiently persuasive, um, hopefully kind of some of these other arguments that you're hearing expressed so beautifully will be. So yeah, so um, then she goes on because apparently she's Christian. And I said this kind of um, jokingly in my, I, I put up a video that was incomplete about the Kavanaugh hearing. And in one of uh, uh, one of the people I spoke about in that video was a, a Christian woman from California. And the thing is, Christians get a bad rap, okay? So I'm always the first to say, like, I am one of the worst Christians. Um, but, you know, I may not dress perfectly. I may not speak perfectly, but I love the Lord. And I what I won't do is I won't distort um, the Bible or Christianity to suit the things that I want to do wrong. And so she's decided that it's actually anti-Christian to, uh, not allow abortions because if you did that, people would be so desperate to murder their unborn children that there's no telling what they would do. Um, and so the casualty of women who are psychotic enough to try to rip a baby from their womb um, makes offering a safer way to rip the baby from their womb um, the humane thing to do. But those are my words. Why don't you listen to her tell you what she thinks in her own words? Whenever we talk about Roe, we're, we're talking, that fight has been happening through the entirety of our lives. My mother had that fight. My grandmother had that. I mean, how does the, how can you keep from like the generational exhaustion? When I think about um, all of the statistics that um, are, are painful of what women are 
uh, confronting Zerlina today in our country and what uh, even more women confronted uh, pre-Roe and how many women died and how many uh, more women were maimed because of unsafe uh, abortion practices. You know, we just can't go back to that. Like, that's uh, unconscionable to me. Um, and also, and I'm sure that this will unleash uh, another wave of hate in my direction, but as a deeply religious person, it's also unchristian. Yeah, so um, there we go, and uh, welcome to 2018, <laughs> where up, and, up is down and right is left, like, you know, these shenanigans these people are up to, I, I can't with this life, I, I can't with these people, they never cease to amaze me, this will be a short video, um, the woman is psychotic. I always, I always feel people are psychotic and, you know, I know I, I don't have a degree to diagnose, but I'm going to do some diagnosing today. When people talk about crazy things in a sort of pass the butter type way, I think they're psychotic. And so I'm pretty positive that she's a little bit crazy and um, I'm going to keep my eye on her because she's bound to say some more off the wall things. It's very scary that she likes to do work with children. Um, what I find is people who have mental issues, they really gravitate towards children. It's like, it's like they have a disease and the disease is like controlling their mind. And so it makes them want to deal with individuals who don't have the logic and sense to realize that something is wrong with them. So she really latches on to the young. Um, she's all about invading their space and polluting their minds with her ideas. So this is our new wave. Um, far left Christians, Christians that believe abortion is a positive thing, the Christian thing to do. Kill your baby makes God happy. That's the motto of this video, according to Chelsea Clinton. Talk to you guys later.